Hi everyone, so I have my favorite black, white, gray, silver top coats video for you guys. I actually split this up into two videos. I just filmed this video and it was 40 minutes long, so I decided to split it up into two parts. The first part will be black, whites, and grays, and silvers, and the second video will be glitters, hollows, and top coats. So it will be split up into two sections. I will put this video up on the same day, or both of these video up on this, videos up on the same day so you guys can get both of them and see both of them if you'd like. Um, the second video will be linked down below so you guys can see them. Um, otherwise, yeah, the intro from here on will be the same and then you'll see the rest of the video. This is the third time I've tried to film this video. The first time it was far too long. The second time, again, far too long, but I realized that there were some things that I could take out and um, this time I'm hoping it's going to be a time efficient video. If you guys haven't seen the rest of these videos, it is part of a series that I started probably like three years ago where I go through every color category and name my favorite polishes in that color category. This was started by my friend Holly or Miss Holly Berries here on YouTube and I'm sure you guys have heard of her. If you haven't, she's amazing and I will link her videos down below. She also just recently got married so go and wish her a lifetime of congratulations to her and her new husband. Um, but anyway, she started this series and I thought that was a really good idea so I started it as well really long time ago went through all the colors didn't for whatever reason do this video in a timely manner and I've been promising this video forever and so here it is today um, I have clumped together black white gray silver and then top coats at the very end just because I basically didn't want to do another video so that's that The first things I'm going to talk about are just black and white creams. This is the Wet n Wild Wild Shine nail color in black cream and French white cream and these are just my go-to black and white cream nail polishes. I picked out these because I heard at some point that they were really good nail polishes for the price. Wet n Wild in the US is about a dollar so these are each like a dollar and I can go through black and white creams like crazy because of nail art that's really what I only use them for. So I decided that these were just going to be my go-to forever. They're pretty pigmented, they're again super inexpensive so for the fact that I only really use them to swatch or for nail art they work perfectly for me. I have some white nail polishes with stuff in them. Uh, the first ones that I always think of are these. These are from Wicked Polish. This is from their original packaging. This is the Crelly bases, the white Crelly bases with the neon glitters from her, um, I don't, it's not called her disease line, but the line named after all a bunch of like the physical ailments. Um, this one is gangrene and this one is pox. And gangrene is a white Crelly base with neon yellow and green glitters and pox is a white curly base with neon pink and orange glitters and for me wicked polish was the very first person to make the white crellies with the neon glitters. Really she's the first one that I ever saw using neon glitters in her nail polishes. Um, I bought them again a really long time ago when she wasn't like super sought after. Her restocks get kind of crazy now so you should definitely follow her on social network to see when she restocks so you guys can um, not miss out on them but she was the first one to do those and those are just beautiful nail polishes they layer pretty well you do want to layer it over a white cream so you don't use too much of the polish because it will get thick on your nails but the the effect of the nail polish is really cool a classic white with stuff in it is kb shimmers o splat this is another sort of original indie maker in my opinion, she's a very, very well-known indie maker, and this color, I feel like, epitomizes her brand. Very, very funky, very punchy, really characteristic, and, like, it's so recognizable if you're familiar with, like, the nail polish world, I guess. Um, o Splat is a white base with a bunch of rainbow glitter in it, and the rainbow, it's, like, primary rainbow Crayola colors, red orange, gold, green, blue, and purple, and it's amazing. It looks so good on your nails, and from far away, it looks like a really clean, cool manicure, but up close, you get the rainbow, and it's just, it's amazing. Similar, but a little bit more toned down is Gloss and Sparkles Unicorn Spawn. 
and this is a white base but it's a little bit more on the gray side there is a silver micro glitter running through it and then there's pastel pink blue and yellow hexes in it and it just looks really gentle it looks like sort of day carry um but it definitely looks really magical because of the silver micro glitter running through it the last sort of white kind of color is actually a top coat so i should have just done this at the end but this is china glazes this one's for you this one was from a holiday collection a couple years back and this is a clear base with a bunch of opalescent glitter glitter in it and then a iridescent micro shimmer running through it and i chose this one over a lot of the other opalescent glitters that you can find just because this one has the best formula for me the base of it is thin enough that it picks up a lot of glitter but it doesn't get chunky on the nail so it's not like you're adding a whole layer of like kind of that goopy clear texture um, it goes on really sheer like a sheer shimmer top coat would but it has glitter opalescent glitter mixed through it so it turns out to be this really sort of jellyfish like finish on the nail if that makes any sense but it looks really cool it transforms manicures really nicely and it looks really great over dark nail polishes moving on to like black sort of gray territory i have a couple of black with stuff in it the first two are kind of similar in concept um one you can't get anymore so i am showing you both even though i love both so i was going to show you both anyway the first one is butter london's the black knight which is a black base with a bunch of glitter mixed in there is a silver micro glitter blue magenta and red and this one i mostly used um underneath flakies the original release of flakies which were those iridescent ones that went from like blue to green or like gold to green those ones not the multi-chrome ones is what I would use this under um, for the Hunger Games and for Divergent actually I did a manicure with this and like an orangey gold flaky on top and it looked like coals it looked like burning coals it was so cool um, and that's mostly what I use this for um, I like this on its own though it's definitely a very unique color I think the glitter definitely is like subtle enough that from far away it looks just like a like a black manicure but up close the glitter comes through really nicely similar to that is rescue beauty lounges fashion polish which is again a black base but the glitter is different um, it has gold magenta and red and I feel like some like sort of tarnished green color in there um, really really pretty polish unfortunately it is unavailable but it was just, it's a gorgeous color. Another Rescue Beauty Lounge color that I really like is Small Dim Summer Stars. Um, this one is like a gunmetal-y, shimmery base with a bunch of teal and blue and purple um, glass fleck shimmer running through it. And it's just sort of like my color alley. Um, I love the color of the shimmer running through this. It definitely does look like stars. And it's a really cool, edgy, sort of color if you want a black or like if you want a dark manicure and a dark shimmery manicure without always having to reach for a dark gray for example this one is great just because there's a shimmer in there that gives it a little bit of color but it just it keeps it in the same color category as some of these polishes which I'll show you next um, I have a couple of gray shimmery colors. This first one is from Chanel, which is super expensive, but this one is in the color Black Pearl, and it's the same sort of color base as Small Dim Summer Stars, but this one doesn't have any auxiliary shimmer running through it. It's just a gunmetal base with a green sort of greenish blue shimmer running through it, like not a glass fleck shimmer, just a micro shimmer running through it. Um, this one is a little bit on the thin side but it is a very elegant nail polish when you actually wear it surprisingly based off of the color another dark sort of gray shimmery color which has a little bit more foil to it this is Chanel's graphite again another very expensive color this one was limited edition so you can't find it anymore um, but this one is sort of just like a graphite gray color it has a sort of platinum-y um, chunky shimmer running through it and so it makes it look really foiled but also again translates really elegant on the nails however Revlon released completely in my opinion I think that this one was released in response to the Chanel one um, this one is called Carbonite Star Wars Fans Unite um, this is again another graphite 
base sort of color with a shimmery foil running through it. So it looks pretty similar to uh, Graphite by Chanel. The Graphite by Chanel is a little bit more shiny but the Revlon one is definitely very similar. Some gray creams. I have two gray creams. This one is from Rescue Beauty Lounge. This one is Forgotten Road, which is a little bit darker and a little bit bluer. And this one is from Zoya. This is in Dove, and it's much lighter and a little bit warmer. These are just my go-to gray creams. I like to use gray creams on their own. I think they're really elegant nail colors. Um, they sit obviously perfectly between white and black so you don't get something that's super bright but you don't get something that's really dark um, I think they're really chic colors they translate differently on every skin tone because gray is one of those colors that pulls different colors from your skin tone so um, they look different on everyone but they also pair really nicely with a lot of the colors that I'll show you later some gray with stuff in it these two are sort of similar in concept this one is from Cirque Nails this is a new one to my collection I made a video on this collection this is the color New Moon from Cirque Nails and it is a mid-tone gray with a sort of platinum shimmer running through it and this one is from Illamasqua and it is called Raindrops. It is a lighter gray, a little bit more blue toned and it has a pearly um, glitter shard running through it and they're very similar in concept. This one definitely looks like you know like a rainy gray window basically it's a really beautiful color I love layering this under things as well um, and this one is a little bit more glitzy because of the platinum glitter both have really nice formulas these two are from Taco Lecker um, and these two are kind of the ones that inspired my purchase and need for this one which I'll get to in a second um, I again love gray with stuff in them I think gray is a color that pairs with anything so if you put anything on it it just looks amazing um, Taco Lacquer has a lot of really good shimmers and the shimmers that they have are very very vibrant and very strong the shimmer doesn't get lost in a lot of their polishes which happens in a lot of brands just shimmer gets lost really easily um, this one is called muse and it is a gray with a purple like a bright purple flash and this one is electric apple NYC and it is a gray with a really bright gold flash and I just I love them they have really great formulas the shimmer again doesn't get lost and that's just my favorite part of them um, this one is cloudy days go away by polish by KPT and because of taco lacquer I kind of was like I want a gray with a teal shimmer in it and I had been looking for a gray with a teal shimmer in it forever. And then I finally found this one this past year. And it's a gray with, um, it's not quite as fine of a shimmer as the taco lacquers, but it's still a micro shimmer that goes from blue to teal to purple. The teal is definitely the main color and it's gorgeous and I absolutely love it. I have a backup of it. Um, and I think I talked about it in a video, but it's definitely one of my favorite gray nail polishes just because of the teal shimmer in it. I have some silver foils. This one is from OPI. This one was from the OPI San Francisco collection. It's called Haven't the Foggiest and it is a little bit more of a smoky um, foil. It's not your typical bright silver foil which is like this one which is Trixie from Zoya. Both of these have a really nice formula. They're very, very mirror-like. They're very reflective and they're opaque for me in two coats. Trixie obviously is much brighter than Haven't the Foggiest. Haven't the Foggiest, again, is a little bit more smoky, which is why I like it so much. Um, this to me was a very unique release for OPI in terms of um, silvers they could have released. I love how bright this one is and how reflective it is. And it's the same with the Zoya. I find that Zoya's Trixie is the silver foil that I compare most silver foils to just because it's so bright and it's just it's so mirror like and it's this one stamps really well as well um this one is from Zoya as well. This is a pixie dust color. The pixie dust colors have been discontinued, so they will be selling whatever is left on their site and whatever is in stock, and then that is it. So if you want some pixie dust colors, go pick them up. I recently did that, and you'll see that in a haul, which is the next video. Um, but this is London. It's their gray pixie dust, and it has the silver glitter running through it, and I just think it looks really cool. It looks great. Um, the, sh the, the shimmer running through this definitely makes this polish and definitely makes the texture of this worth it. Um, this one is a very chic manicure. Again, from far away, it just looks like gray, but up close you get the texture and you get the, the silver shimmer and it definitely saves the nail polish. Um, 
This one is from OPI. This one is from their Magnetics line from a very long time ago. This one was from OPI's auxiliary James Bond collection that they released. They released the Skyfall collection for the fall of like three years ago and they released some sort of duos to go with them and the fad at the time was magnetics and so they released a magnetic polish to go with it and this they actually released I think two magnetic polishes to go with it. This is the one that I end up liking the most. It's called Is That Silva. I have recently gotten rid of all my magnetic polishes and magnets because they were just a hassle and it was cool while it was happening but it's kitschy and it just I didn't need them anymore. I kept this one though however because this one is really pretty on its own. This is a gunmetally gray shimmer on its own but it has a holographic glitter running through it and the hollow on it the hollow glitter in it is like super super strong so even if you wear it on its own without mag like magnetizing it it looks really cool so it's really unique to my collection which is why I've kept it around um, and which is why it made this list because it's so unique and the gray with the contrast of the hollow glitter on top is just like it's crazy it looks very 3d and it's really pretty